Good morning. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <coughs> mm. Hi. Good morning, my buggers. My, my camera's gonna die. I can't even film this right now. Oh my god. I charged up my battery as best as I could. <laughs> it says I have three bars of battery, so like, I don't know, like, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, like, mm. Because I really didn't charge it for that long. Oh, sh**, you know what? The voltage is different here. Let's just do a little OOTD. I'm wearing a thermal shirt and, a th and thermal pants, as you can see, through my holes. Turtleneck that's striped from Urban, and this jean jacket from Primark. <laughs> these Timberlands and this super cute like double bald hat and um, we are going to the Portobello market and then we're gonna go study our freaking Shakespeare because we're supposed to understand what's going on and in one the in the play we're reading and we're doing scenes from it and, and I, I, don't, I don't understand any of it so I need to like read like all the sources that are like here's what's going on and I need to basically just understand the entire history of England and um, the monarchy and all the kings and, and queens and the relationships in the family and <laughs> oh my god okay so let's go hey hey it smells amazing okay good because like sam and i are like super picky about smells <laughs> so like we don't want our room to smell shady um why doesn't mine look like this oh. <laughs> That's just every single button does that. <laughs> Followers you have. 7,900. Yesterday I broke 900. I have a video that has 96,000 views. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got. I got this memory foam bath mat. It's just one of those essentials, you know what I mean? Like we have a shower and um. Once I step out of the shower, I want my little tootsies to be caressed and loved. Bleh. Four or five pounds. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to get this piece of plastic. Oh. Next I got this, like... Oh my god, this, like, wire, like, thing just to hang, because I have a lot of blank space, and black is kind of the theme in here. You can't... Oh, I don't mind some of these and I'll just put like Polaroids and shit and uh, <laughs> spruce it up in here. But lastly from Primark, I got this candle. It just smells like good. Like I want to eat it. Ugh. But I realize I don't have any way of starting a fire. So that'll just be here, I guess. I got one more thing. This extra AF notebook from Typo because I don't have one and teachers are always like, bring your notepad and pen and I bring my like Kindle and I'm, I'm like secretly typing and I feel so bad and guilty. It's like in the second they turn and see me, they're gonna be like, where's your pen and paper? Sir, I, I am too technologically advanced for that primitive sh Also like, this is just a waste, you know what I mean? Like I just have literally everything on one little Kindle. More efficient, whatever. Um, I'm just now noticing that it's like torn. Why don't I notice these things? <laughs> so yeah, that's my haul of the day. Um, oh my god, I need to tell you literally everything that happened at Stratford upon Avon. I decided 2019 is the year of the balls. That means it's about taking risks. This year, I've really been trying to understand that I have one life and it's my life. It's the one that I have. I'm the only one that is going to be looking out for my own best interest. I'm the only one that's capable of giving myself the chance to experience the things that I want to experience. Like if I want to go skydiving, I have to go out and do that, you know? If I want to be an actress, I have to put in the work and go out and do that. And another thing is, I deserve it. Because a lot of the times I feel like I don't deserve certain things, or like, oh, like I shouldn't do that like that. I should save that for somebody else. Why should I get this? But one life, one life, and we all just have the one life. We all just have the one chance 
to be happy and get it right and so we all just need to be happy and excited and do the things we want to do and it's easier to live in a little box and it's harder to actually branch out and have zero regrets with all that being said there was this really cute guy and he was checking our bags when we went in to go see a christmas carol he was so and every time I passed him, he would like smile. And I know he was smiling at everybody, but I felt special. And I was like telling my friends, and they all have like boyfriends. They were like, oh my god, like you should ask him out. Like I would never do it, but you definitely should. I was like, yeah, like I definitely am not gonna be doing that. Um, no. But then I was like, I'm literally never gonna see him again. Like ever. I will never see this guy again in my entire life. Not only am I in a separate country studying abroad, but I'm also on a field trip whilst I'm abroad, so I'm never coming back here. So, <clears throat> after the show, I went up to him, and I was like, hi, um, so my friends and I are like going out after if you want to come, and he was like, I'm afraid I can't go, but thank you so much. And I was like, okay, <laughs> rip my heart out, why don't you? No, but it's fine. I was just literally so proud of myself. And absolutely nothing came of it. Um, and I was like, I'm never gonna see him again. Like, great. Technically, that is the end of the story. Like, there's nothing more exciting. But I did realize soon after that we were going to um, be returning to that same playhouse twice more the next day for two more shows. And I did see him again, but I kept my head very far down. Yeah, so that was probably the most exciting thing that happened. But we went out to pubs. I had nice, tall glasses of water. <laughs> no, but actually. I, I, yeah, I don't drink. And it was so much fun. And we just like explored the town. It's beautiful. And the church is beautiful. And we saw William Shakespeare's grave, which was not as extra as I thought it was going to be. It was actually very subtle and um, humble. <coughs> but wait. Look at this. Look at this. Or if you do it like that, twice the enjoyment. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the town itself was beautiful. It was so small. We would always see the actors in the shows and sometimes they would come and talk to us, which was dope. But yeah, it was just this tiny ass town and like we were 48, so we were basically occupying half of it. Like we would pass people and it'd be each other. And there was hella drama at the hotel. You don't even know. We don't even know. But yeah, sorry I'm pretty bad at vlogging. It's cause like, you know, my friends are new and I don't wanna like be like, so here it is. We're not there yet. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next one. By the way, I've been updating my Spotify playlists as like kind of regularly. Not really regularly, but I think it could be fun to like, you know, share music together. So go follow me on Spotify. Cast car dance. And yeah. Okay, bye. Climactic. Yeah, I knew this. Did somebody leave you those? Yeah. Oh, hey. Two feet away right now. It's like pretty good. <laughs> Shakespeare's grave is over there somewhere. I don't want to dish over two pounds. We did it. We paid the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cute. Oh, uh, Do the same. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> it's Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare has risen. It's like cancer in a bottle. In a bottle? Yeah. In a bed? In a bed. But I'm just getting so pale and white and sickly. Do a spray tan. This is spray tan. Okay. We're debating whether or not to get a spray tan. 
in Stratford upon Avon. It's gotta be sexy for Shakespeare. <laughs> no, true. It's for the for the guys checking our bags. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna break her. Sorry, this room is taken. Oh, is it? I'm home. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> is dinner ready? <laughs> oh, she excited. Oh, she is excited. Oh my god. That's a tradition.